Emergencies come in all shapes and sizes. Tell me about the Tetris, what have you got? They're just neon Tetris, yeah. I say just. They're a pretty addition to my tank and I've had them for probably about, I don't know, uh, a year maybe? Doing all swimmingly well and mm -hmm. then recently they got a fungal infection and that's why we've had to put it down to. Treated it for six weeks with the fungicide and it didn't seem to take, it was quite resistant. So then we moved on to some other methods of treatment which just, just didn't work. So it, it got to a point where I thought it might have been clearing up but then it kind of came back again and one of the fish were really affected by the fact that it was inside the mouth and was unable to eat and he was lost, losing a bit of weight. Um, so it started to spread also to the other um, tetras in the tank as well. So I thought I'd better bring bring them in to see Jane and get her opinion on it. But they're so tiny. I mean, uh, how can you, you, they're like smaller than your finger though. Really small. I had no idea what was going to take place. I kind of just left it in the expert's <laughs> hands. Dr. Jane's no stranger to interesting cases and anaesthetized the tiny tetras before attempting to remove their fungal growths. He's got an open mouth. I just cut the tumour, like the... Really didn't think we were going to go down the path of trying to open up their mouths and cut out the, the bad bits, but was happy to give it a go because mm -hmm. I really didn't want, it, want the alternative. I wanted them to hang around and give yeah. them a chance. It, it looked pretty exciting. Now, one of the fish ultimately didn't make it, but, but it was resuscitated. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's upgrading. Yeah. He was the smaller fish. He was the more malnourished one. Oh, he did really well yeah. afterwards. It took him a little bit to recover, um, but ultimately he just he lost the fight. Fantastic. Well, how are the rest of the the? Uh, They're doing great. Group doing. They're doing great. Yes. Um, so we've I've taken them home and they've been quarantined to a different tank, and we're moving on to a different kind of treatment now to see if we can finally just nip it in the bud while they can eat at the same time during their recovery. Thank you. <laughs> well, between between you, James Perez, and Jane Weller, yes. um, you've done a great job. Yes, my first fish surgery, and <laughs> hopefully my last, because it was very yeah, it's not my thing. Dogs and cats, all the way. <laughs>